For more than four decades, Madonna has reigned as the undisputed queen of reinvention, her ability to masterfully shift identities, both musically and aesthetically has kept her culturally relevant across multiple generations. But her latest transformation has sparked heated debate. Are her recent noticeable lip enhancements a defiant act of self-expression, or a troubling sign that even pop royalty isn't immune to society's harsh ageist beauty standards? The controversy began brewing last month when the 64-year-old icon was spotted with what appeared to be significantly fuller pillowy lips while out in Los Angeles. Seemingly overnight, her signature party look had been amplified to an exaggerated new level through an apparent lip filler procedure. It was a striking change from the face the world had grown accustomed to over the past half century of Madonna's reign, and it immediately set tongues wagging across social media and entertainment blogs, with fans and critics alike weighing in on her updated look. For some, the more pronounced pucker was a welcome evolution for an artist who has never shied away from courting controversy through bold beauty choices. She's just keeping it fresh and modern like she always has, one supporter commented. If she wants bigger lips to pull off sexy looks for her new tour, more power to her. But the enhancements also drew plenty of detractors, who viewed the lip injections as a disappointing capitulation to the ageist ideals of a youth-obsessed industry that has long subjected female stars to harsh scrutiny over their appearances as they grow older. It's depressing to see an icon like Madonna feeling like she still has to drastically alter her face just to look acceptable on stage at her age. One critic lamented, She's achieved legendary status. She should be able to just embrace herself as a 60-something woman without all the work. Into this heated debate stepped Madonna herself, or rather, her team. Because according to the singer's representatives, these latest lip injections are just a temporary stage look designed to enhance her performance abilities during an upcoming world tour. Madonna is on a full surgery hiatus and these lip injections are just for helping with her stage revivals and accentuating the vamp practice she's given on stage. A spokesperson revealed, referring to the singer's penchant for locking lips with dancers and fans during concerts. So in other words, the queen of pop isn't necessarily kicking off a whole new overfilled look, but rather temporarily plumping up her power to facilitate some signature sharp value on stage smooching. It's a cheeky explanation that only Madonna could get away with, and one that has done little to quell the raging debate around her latest cosmetic procedure. Because for many, the idea that even an icon as transcendent as Madonna feels the need to tinker with her appearance through injectables and fillers is a sobering reminder of the immense pressures placed on women in the entertainment industry to maintain an ageless, perpetually youthful look. The fact is, if Madonna showed up on that stage with her natural 64-year-old face, she'd be raked over the coals by the same critics fawning over her new puffy lips, one veteran Hollywood publicist pointed out. It's a no-win situation for any woman of a certain age in this business. The publicist's words ring chillingly true when you consider Madonna's own history with cosmetic procedures and the intense scrutiny she's faced over her changing appearance over the years. Despite achieving billionaire status and becoming one of the most influential cultural forces of her generation, she has never been immune to vicious ageist criticism and body shaming. From her dramatically taut cheeks and forehead in the early 2000 seconds to her seemingly frozen expression during a 2023 Grammy appearance that sparked the firestorm of too much Botox claims, the material girl has been mercilessly picked apart for any perceived cosmetic misstep as she's aged. It's this context that makes her latest lip filler enhancement so polarizing. Because while her team insists it's merely a temporary stage look, many see it as the latest entry in Madonna's ongoing battle against the cruelties of Hollywood's ageist double standards. She knows she's going to get roasted no matter what, so she's taking control of the narrative and doing it her way, as provocative and boundary-pushing as ever, assess one longtime Madonna observer. Love it or hate it, you have to admire her refusal to just fade away quietly into irrelevance like so many other aging stars have been forced to do. Indeed, the singer herself has remained defiant in the face of criticism over her change in looks, insisting she has no qualms about undergoing cosmetic procedures to maintain her iconic visage. I'm not going to live a conventional life, Madonna declared in a 2015 interview.
I'm going to keep being an artist and exploring and challenging myself. I'm not going to start making humble pie. It's this uncompromising attitude that has allowed Madonna to not only survive, but thrive across multiple eras of the fickle entertainment landscape. And her latest lip revamp is simply the newest chapter in her personal manifesto of doing things entirely on her own terms, both on stage and off. Of course, not everyone is buying the temporary stage look excuse being peddled by her team. Because according to several leading plastic surgeons and cosmetic experts, the type of filler likely used to achieve Madonna's exaggerated new pout is designed to last anywhere from six months to over a year before dissolving. Based on the dramatic size increase, she's likely had one of the more robust lip fillers like Juvederm or Restylane injected, said Dr. Arash Akhavan, a dermatologist in New York City. Those types of hyaluronic acid fillers can last up to 18 months before metabolizing. So this doesn't seem like just a short-term stage look unless she's planning to dissolve them after her initial tour dates. Dr. Akavan also cautioned that while lip fillers are generally considered lower risk compared to more invasive procedures, they can still carry potential side effects like prolonged swelling, lumps, and even lip neurovascular compromise in extreme cases. Anytime you're injecting foreign substances into the lips, there are risks involved, he explained. Patients need to be aware of that and have a board-certified injector administering the fillers. Whether Madonna heeded such precautions with her latest enhancements is unclear. But if her past behavior is any indication, playing it safe has never been her top priority when it comes to pushing boundaries with her look and performances. So as the queen of pop gears up for her latest globetrotting tour, she'll undoubtedly take the stage rocking her fresh, fuller pout, an unmistakable badge of honor for an artist who has never let society's conventions dictate how she chooses to present herself. And if the lip injections do indeed turn out to be more than just a temporary stage accessory, well, that would simply cement Madonna's status as an ageless icon who refuses to make humble pie out of the aging process. She'll continue marching to the beat of her own drum, half fully loaded, no matter how many critics and detractors line up to shame her for it. Because love her or loathe her, the one thing you can never accuse Madonna of is complacency. At every stage of her 40-year career, she's boldly charted her own course, age and society's beauty standards be damned. Her latest lip revamp is simply the newest reminder that when it comes to defying conventions, the material girl is never going conventional.